All right, we're good. We're good. We're running into Holy Nation territory, but Holy Nation will not kidnap and eat us. They might imprison us, but we can always rescue somebody who gets imprisoned. We can't uneat somebody, as the old saying goes. <laughs> All right, we are back in Kenshi with Azagami and his uh, now much larger team. In the last episode, we snuck our way into uh, Mongrel through the fog, and then we fought our way out of Mongrel through the hordes of Fogmen. But we came away victorious, and we came away with a bunch of new friends, uh, which include uh, a handful of new unique recruits. Very interesting that that many unique recruits is just sitting around in Mongrel. But we have uh, Shrieke, Beep, Crumble John, and Infinite Wing Wang. I have learned are all part of the base game. Obviously, I'm very much aware of Beep. Everybody is. But these are all unique recruits that are part of the base game. So I think what we're going to do uh, is I'll probably keep at least these guys on the team. Uh, at least to see what kind of unique dialogue they may or may not have. I know Beep has a bunch of rare, unique dialogue, so it's certainly worth keeping him on the team. Um, on the scout team, that is. And Crumble John has been talking nonstop, so we'll hold on to him as well. But the idea basically is the intention initially was I was going to run them home so they'd be safe, but I think we're going to keep them on the team. So, Sakar and Surf are not from the base game. They're both from mods, I'm pretty sure. So I know Sakar is. He's from the 101. So if we ever do pass by the base, we might set them up as security or, or whatever job needs to be done in the base. Um, but uh, I think we'll keep the unique guys from Mongrel on the team with us. So... I think for today, then, uh, the idea is we're going to keep exploring. Now, a one change to that idea is I don't, I think it would be suicide to take these low-level characters up north to a place where if they do go down, they're going to get eaten. And I have a ticking clock to go rescue them quickly. So I think what we'll do is I didn't get to go into Dreg at all. Um, it might be wise for us to take a quick trip into the border zone to hit up the, um, to hit up the uh, the ninjas there and buy some gear for these guys because they're all in crappy gear. And then maybe we'll uh, take it up north and continue messing with um, uh, Holy Nation. Also, uh, it was noted in the comments that I did not talk to the leader of the... Uh, there we go, Flotsam Ninjas. So uh, maybe we'll do that. I don't know if we'll do all that in one episode. We'll definitely try to get our make our way down here, hit the hub up real quick and maybe get into some, some scuffles in the Holy Nation, which I think will be a little bit safer. They're certainly going to be higher level than these guys, but if they get downed, they're either going to get left alone or imprisoned. They're not going to get eaten, so I think I feel a little safer, so. So that's the idea. Let's head out. All right. Late at night, we leave Dreg, leave the Sanctuary. Hopefully we have an opportunity to send people. You know, we're going to head into, like I said, we might head into the hub uh, to visit the Tower of Ninjas. Um... And maybe we'll be able to uh, use our secret code there. We, we were given some kind of secret code. Hopefully it pops up in conversation to send people here. Hopefully that wasn't just flavor text and that actually means something. I'd like to be able to do that. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe we'll get that opportunity. If not, so be it. We'll still uh, be, be out for some adventure. Oh, I see some people up here. Who are we? The Western Hive. Oh, there's a ruin out there. I We have never been there. I wonder what it would take to get there. Might be worth checking that out. Maybe we'll take this way. I was going to go down and see if there's anything in this flat, but maybe we'll head out and see since we know that's there. I clearly uncovered that with a map because I've we've never, I've never swam to a ruin. So. Hello, Hivers. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wait, wait, wait. Let's just go around them. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, some hivers on us now, and they might get upset with that. The last time we went into a hive with some hivers, they started screaming, no hive. <laughs> Wanted to attack one of the hivers, so shit. That doesn't look good. All right, cool. Calm down, guys. All right. We're not going to go directly at the hive village, then we'll go for a point a little bit away from it. They didn't seem to care. That's fine. Maybe they didn't notice us. I assume it's relatively safe here. Considering the Hivers are here, and they're basically, like, super fragile. <laughs> What's, um... Yeah, oh, beep, you got hurt. 75 across the board. What about the other guy? Yeah, 75, so that's not unique to beep. Uh, 
Alright, we can pick up the pace. Yeah, it really is a shame that Dreg sucks. Actually, you know what? Let's prospect here, too. Yeah, that's a bummer. It's not infertile. There's grass everywhere. This, this should be the desert's readout. All right, let's see if we can get these guys to break off. There you go. Break away from the high village. Let's not run through the center of the high village. We're also sprinting, are we not? No, we're not. Yeah, it's it doesn't look infertile. It looks awesome. I'd love to say this should be like the safest place in the entire, like the the beginners, uh, faction like uh, base building area. What is this? Dogs, dogs, non hostile dogs. So I'm sure would turn hostile if they got a look at us, but we'll leave them be. We are about to cross the border into Vane. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Vane has a- oh, you know what? Vane has gorillas. And beak things. We gotta be careful. You know, as I say, hivers probably would settle in safe areas, I do now recall. Vane is not a safe area. <laughs> we'll run along the edge of Vane, which is good. Uh, so, uh, you know, we gotta get one of them lanterns while we're in Vane. Says... who are you? Atmos. I mean, we have one. Lanterns? What lanterns? Says Asagami. Uh, you know, them lanterns of Radians? It would be like going to the swamps without not buying drugs or fish. <laughs> Alright. You gotta buy a lantern. That's still Atmos? Yeah. Slap. Beep slaps. Why are you slapping your head? Are there flies? I hate flies. Is he gonna tell us that the lantern is stupid? <laughs> Just don't... don't even go there. Says... who is that? Shrike? Oh, I love it. Alright, I'm glad I took you guys with us. This is the most conversation we've ever had. <laughs> don't even get me started on those fucking Lanterns of Radiance. I haven't seen anything move yet. We're gonna hug the coast, and we're gonna see if we can get out to... ...that ruin. We might leave a team... Is that a road? Yeah, we're passing a road. Alright, good to know. Where's that road go? To a high village. We might leave a team... ...on the shore. There's a gorilla. Let me just take a look. How how tough are these guys? How, how dangerous is this gonna be for me? Very, very. Like, very, very dangerous. Like, so dangerous we could lose fucking the new recruits. <laughs> Alright, let's get over here. Ugh, oh, there's a dog attacking us. I was gonna say, we'll go- we'll go past him if he attacks, he attacks, but there's a dog attacking us, so we'll take care of the dog first. And hopefully he doesn't come up. We'll see what happens. The gorilla has not noticed- it, noticed yet. Man, this area is really beautiful, though the fucking dog is doing a number. God damn it, man. What's this dog made of? Can I get the archers in here, please? There we go. Alright, it looks like our, uh... Our damn new recruits are gonna be raising their toughness stats. Jeez Louise, guys. Come on. <laughs> Alright, we may have to be putting out some sleeping bags for them. This might be a, a slow crawl if I want to keep these guys, which I do. I mean... There's nothing I can do anyway, because I gotta get them home, but, mm. Alright. I don't want to micromanage them and take them out of the fight. Um. Where are you going? Hey, Sakar, where the hell are you going? There you go. Um. Yeah, I don't want to micromanage them and take them out of the fight. I mean, if they die, they die. That's kind of Kenshi anyway. That's like the whole point to play the game. Now, that's what I would call a wound. Yeesh. Um. But... Uh, yeah, boy, wow. <laughs> they are fucking gonna be fucked. Alright, we can, uh, let them rest up till morning. Waki, you got a ton of sleeping bags, right? Yeah. Alright. These guys will stand guard while, geez louise, the new guys all got fucking trounced. Oh, Crumble John, you did not. Nor did you, Infinite Wing Wang. Proud of you. How are you doing, Surf? Yeah, you could use a bed. Since we're going to stand here, everybody else okay? 
100, 100, 100. <laughs> Did you just let the new guys do the fighting for you? <laughs> all right. Maybe these new guys all need to be um, uh, crossbowmen. Negative one. I mean, we can take the hits if we gave them all junky shit crossbows. Oh, that looks terrible out there. That gorilla's going nuts. There's so much going on right now. <laughs> I fucking hate Vayne. What is it fighting? It's fighting a dog. The gorillas are like fucking all like bonkers deadly. Here's the other one. What's he fighting? The dog, right? Yeah, all right. I can handle dogs. As long as they don't come over here, we're fine. Uh oh. Infinite Wing Wang is under attack. Wait, where the fuck is Infinite Wing Wang? Why are you out here? Oh, you don't have... A, why are you not bodyguarding? Whoops. Or following, rather. Alright, Infinite Wing Wang. We may have to come fucking rescue you. Shit. Alright, hold on a second. We gotta change some things. Let's see how he does. We're gonna get ready, though. Pick up. Walkie. We'll get the, t the strong people picking people up. All right. We unfortunately may have to go collect him, so... Let's see if we can do that. <laughs> Whoops. Hopefully we don't get killed by gorillas on the way. We'll see. Oops. All right, well, since we have to walk back, maybe we'll go and check out that, that uh, spot and drag like I wanted to anyway. Uh, and then we'll make our way back out here. Poor- Oh, fuck. Infinite Wing Wang! Uh, ha, 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 ha. Uh. Oh, look at what we have to deal with. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can get out here. <laughs> what a start. Uh, let's go ahead and sprint. You guys are fast. Alright. We're gonna sprint out to Infinite Wing Wang. Rescue mission commences. This is why I fucking hate cannibals. <laughs> He's about to be getting a... Getting eaten alive. Good thing they are dealing with this dog. This might actually thin the herd, too, which is good. Oh, you sons of bitches. Oh, there's even more. What is happening? Ivers. All right, good. Good. Wing Wang, where are you? Yes, somebody beat down the Wing Wang guy. <laughs> so we can catch up with him. Alright, come on guys, you got this. How far are you? So far. <laughs> uh, this is what this game is for. Here, we'll stick with these guys and see how they're doing. Until we see attacking on the uh, scout team. We'll see how, uh, poor old Infinite Wing Wang is doing. He's wounded, but he's not unconscious. We just need to get him dropped. If he can get- if this guy gets knocked down... Infinite Wing Wang's got two working legs. God damn it, man. Look how close we are. How, is this thing wounded? Yeah, his left leg hurts? Come on! Come on, you got this. Somebody attack this guy. Come on, we- Oh, you're not even trying to fight anybody, you're just taking him home by yourself? That's kind of a good thing. That's kind of a good thing. Oh, <laughs> you little bastard. You little bastard. How far are we? Oh, he's running towards us, that's so good. That's so good, we don't have to cut through. God damn it, fucking cannibals! Not that many, though, there's only four, so that's okay. We've got the, uh, the weak team, the new guys, on our backs, so that's good. We're not gonna have to worry about losing them. Crumble John's not on anybody's back, but he's doing just fine, so. Oh. Oh, we're about to converge. There's fucking so many goddamn cannibals around here. I still think if Dreg was, um, was fertile... I still like this area, even with the with the cannibals. I'm okay with it. Oh, we're here. We're here. There we are. All right, here we go. We should be able to get him to turn just by starting to attack him. 
Yes, we did. Infinite Wing Wing! Come, run to us! Oh, Infinite Wing Wing is unconscious for 16 Hunt! He's unconscious for a bit. Who was first up? Oh, fucking Sasabi. Sasabi with this new leg. Oh my god. She runs 37 miles an hour. We are going to get everybody's legs cut off. <laughs> no, 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 no. Come back here. Somebody go get poor old Infinite Wing Wing. Who doesn't have somebody on your shoulder? Sasabi, you run fast. Go pick up Infinite Wing Wing. Sasabi, did you manage it? You're you're healing him. That's okay. That's okay. Does he need it? Not really. He's fine. Really, really harsh. Infinite Wing Wang is still unconscious, but that's okay. Uh, Sasabi, you go catch up. Come on. Just run. Chewy. Chewy, but savory. <laughs> All right, guys. Everybody get to Sanctuary. Go, go, go. Sasabi, where are you with your 37 miles an hour? I fucking love it. That means you're the new carrier of everybody. Uh, let's get everybody rounded up together in one spot. Because this is- Oh no! This is just getting so bad! Fuck off, Starving Bandit. <laughs> it's fucking- uh, Alright, just get to Sanctuary. I hate to drag so many. This is fucking bonkers. <laughs> They're not coming after us, though. Whatever. Eat. Look at this chaos! What just unfolded on us? <laughs> oh my god, we're running through other cannibals. Whatever, screw you cannibals. Screw you guys. How fast does, uh, Sasabi run? 25 miles an hour. She still runs great with someone on her back. I love it. We're just gonna get close to where we can sleep. And then we will turn and take on whoever's following. I don't know if we're gonna drag this into Sanctuary and guarantee they die. <laughs> we're just gonna get closer. <laughs> Man, this turned sideways fast. All from Crumble John not being set correctly. Let me just make sure all these guys are set correctly. Yeah, you're all good now. It was just Crumble John for some... Or Infinite Wing Wing for some reason. Alright. Whoever's following us, we're gonna face right here. Is it just you two? So be it. Beautiful. Nice and easy. All done. You can just buy me a drink and we'll call it even. Where do you guys... You're not set to help allies. Like, where are you going? No heal, help, or rescue. And for some reason, all of the archers always run off to do their own thing. Get back over here. Crumble John, you came out of that fight without a scratch on you. I'm, I'm digging you. <laughs> I'm gonna put these guys to sleep for just a hot second. Infinite Wing Wang for sure. Man. And, uh, we're gonna go, uh... We're gonna stick with the initial plan, which was to go through Dreg and get into the Holy Nation territory. Because this is exactly what I'm talking about. We don't need to be dealing with cannibals. <laughs> Alright, tons of distractions. I don't know how much of that stayed in. Half the team was just running around this base instead of following us. They're just running oh, back and forth in here. But we are finally in the darkness again, heading out to the south. We're going to be going through cannibal territory, as we can clearly see. How ominous. And sad. If we pass this guy, we might help him. Looks like we're turning off, so... Sorry, friend. Oh, looks like you survived. No, you did not. You didn't get picked up, though, did you? No, you didn't. Weird. They did not, uh... The Starving Bandit did not pick him up. Just ran away. Interesting. Alright, we're going the same way that we just came from and had a whole bunch of problems with, but... You know, if we got it, we'll pick up our team and fight in cannibal territory. I'll probably be a little more... I want them, like I said, I've said before, I want them to take the lumps. They gotta get tough if they're gonna stay with us. So... Oh, uh, here comes the kind of fight that they need. Maybe we can take them around to uh, tussle with some uh, dust bandits. The, like, dust bandit remnants in the hub. Maybe that's a good idea. I don't know. 
Dude, I love that. We made about $10,000. I think I started the the episode with like $232,000. So we made $10,000 on booze and hash. <laughs> that's fucking awesome. This is the best game that's ever existed. We've got a team just out adventuring. There's a team back at home making and selling illegal goods. <laughs> While also just being self-sufficient, just making enough to survive in terms of food. So good. Yeah, I think I mentioned the last episode too. It's really a huge bummer that you can't spend any time at like this level. Like I spend all my time playing this game from here. Because <laughs> you have to be able to see that there's like an entire horde of cannibals like running at you at top speed. But when like you get down into it. Goddamn beautiful. I think it's it's beautiful in its uniqueness. Like, I, I don't know that there's another game that is so, like, exotic. While also, like, having all of these, like, post-apocalyptic elements. All that usually is handled in a very specific way. Oh, we made it where we want to go. Alright. We made it to the crossroads. I'm gonna head straight into the center of this, uh, thing. This, uh, basin here. See what that has to say to us. There are nomads. Drag is really nice. I dig it. It is a shame that it is completely infertile. And that there's no stone. Here I'm gonna prospect again. That's worse than ever before. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can get down into the center of whatever this is. I thought we were gonna go down into something. We, we clearly seem to be only rising up. Is that where I want to go? Mm, tough to say. I guess this is high. I thought it was low. Alright. Maybe let's see what happens if we cut across. I thought this was going to be a crater, but clearly it's a mountain. <laughs> yeah, you've got to be kidding me. This is some bullshit. You are out of your mind with this. <laughs> I don't think I have mods enough on here that are changing the scenery so dramatically. Like, I, I feel like this is close to what it looks like in the base game. This is fucking nuts. There's no stone. And there's no... Fertility. Whatever. Now it's such a bummer, because I would absolutely settle here. Alright, we're walking into a camp of some kind. Let's just make sure it's not a cannibal camp. Nomads, we're good. Love it. Man, the soundtrack here is cool as hell, too. Very ominous. Yeah, it is really a shame that this uh, does not prospect well, because this whole fucking spot is really cool. I mean, I wouldn't settle in the mountains, but... Somewhere down in here. We are going the weirdest way to get there. But whatever. Meat. Hunt. Ah, oh, fuck. God damn, so many of them. Shit. Uh, fuck. Alright, they're all swarming around this one spot. But none of my guys are there. So let's go check on our guys. I'll take that opportunity to get a little further away. And, uh, here they come. Alright. Now, I don't want to fight 50 of these guys. Uh, so maybe we'll run around. Maybe we will run around. We'll put Azagami also on the appropriate level of speed. We'll try to keep everybody together, though. I don't usually do this, but I'm a tad worried around. Usually I just kind of let them run and spread out, but worried about cannibals. Just make sure I got everybody. Yeah, I got everybody. All right, we're good. We're good. We're running into Holy Nation territory, but Holy Nation will not kidnap and eat us. They might imprison us, but we can always rescue somebody who gets imprisoned. We can't uneat somebody, as the old saying goes. <laughs> Man, this is pretty too. Am I still in fucking drag? Are you kidding me? It's gorgeous here. This is a bullshit. Am I still being chased? Yeah, I am. Alright, let's uh let's stand. Let's make a stand here. Because I would like to do some prospecting. I bet if I built something here anyway, we would get a visit by the Holy Nation. I'm probably within within their range of like coming to talk to me. 
Take it easy now. All right, everybody. Attack that target to start. Let's make sure we got some people attacking over there. Nice. Good stuff. All right, everybody get healed up. I think we're safe. I wanted to explore that, that spot more, but whatever. We want to get away from these jerks. We might be dealing with Holy Nation, but so be it. What I might do... Where's Crumble Drone? How did you not get picked up? How do you keep not getting hurt and you not get picked up? You damn good, Crumble Drone. All right, we're going to put these guys down for now. All right, we're now running through Holy Nation territory, but my god, man, it is fucking really nice here, too. I just want to take a look and see what this is. 100% fertility, 100% stone, a little bit of water, no iron, no copper in our face. But we could find some, and this 100% would get Holy Nation raided all the time. <laughs> we shall see if it's uneventful here. But what we might do... We'll get, we're going to go to the hub. We're going to go visit... Oh, we're being... Something's happening. What is it? The Holy Nation. A Holy Nation Paladin? Two Holy Nation... A Holy Nation Sentinel and a Holy Nation Paladin. What else? Hard to see. So far, it just looks like the two of them. Not sure why they got aggroed on us from so far, but so be it. Any chance you guys got bounties? No, you don't. All right. Uh, let's, uh, take care of them. All right, we're going to attack them. I don't see a reason not to. Let's, uh, let's roll those dice. Here we go. Yeah, I think it's just the two of them so far. It looks that way. Let's see. As we all race into the fray. Oh, there's a couple more coming up. I think we got this. I think we got it. No, 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 guys, hold, hold here, hold here. Hold here. Don't rate. Don't separate yourselves. Get over here and attack this guy. Uh, let's get the archers out. And attacking all. That's fine from there. I think we got this. I think we just took care of most of their heavies. There's a couple more heavies coming. There's three more heavies. There's some archers out in the distance. I think we're going to be okay. We're taking some wax, but these guys are good. Our core team is good. Die, skeleton. Our core team is alright. Naganuma, is that you out here? Who's out here? Hunter, you're going out on your own, huh? Well, hey, these guys do- Oh, look at you, Shrike, take- <laughs> to the face. You tried- Oh, we're gonna take all your bows, that's for sure. Oh, they got reinforcements coming in. Oh, lots of them. Oh my god, there's so many! Oh, it's a camp. Oh, shit. Yikes. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops! Alright, whatever. We're doing it. Uh, let's do this. Let's get these guys... Stop being separated. Let's round you guys... Everybody round up again. Out over here. Don't be so separated, please. Get all together. Okay. Let's get our archers. Oh, yes. Nice. A little bit of high ground, maybe. Just a little bit. Does that count? We'll see. And, uh, attack all. Probably too soon, but that's fine. Look at how many of these guys there are. Whatever, we're, we're fucking in for a penny. We'll see what happens. If we gotta retreat, we gotta retreat. We'll watch our archers. This is our, this is our core team of, um, not just archers, but our healers, so we should be okay. Even if people go down, we could get out of here, but this is a good test. And I like I want to just let them go. Oh, Beep is down. Beep is unconscious. Who is this? Naganuma, can you first aid Beep, please? Just take a quick break. Maybe even grab Beep when you're done first aiding him. Where's Beep? Naganuma, did you just get whacked? No, you're still you're still first aiding. That's fine. Oh, we wiped out the we wiped out the camp. That's it. We did it. All right. There's still more of them, but it counts as being wiped out. They're crawling away. Trying to get away. Beep has been hurt. <laughs> Naganum was taking care of him, though. We'll let them wipe out the rest of this. This is fantastic. I'm really happy this went this way. We're taking the lumps. That's fine. I haven't checked the core scout team, but I'm so sure they're fine. It's kind of a bummer. Like, I'm really happy to see these, these new unique recruits. And I know, like I said, 
Beep is beloved, so it's good to have him, and I'd like to see what unfolds with him. But uh, clearly the scout team was ready to, <laughs> to get out there and start doing some dumb shit. Like, at some point, I'd really, I still really want to go back to Rebirth and raid the place. No one else fell, and we're out of combat. I mean, we're, they're going to keep getting up, so we're going to be in combat for a little while. Who is this? Azagami, why are you off on your own? Just kill this guy already. Good. Whack. Whack. There, Waki comes to help. I love it. The skeleton will not prevail. I, I mm, beg to differ, my friend. All right, these guys are not all down, and they're going to keep getting up. They might even be some reinforcements coming shortly, so we may want to, like, fucking rethink where we're standing. <laughs> get the hell out of here. Where is Beep? He didn't get kidnapped, right? No, he's just still on the floor, and he's fine. Can we get Gnu to grab Beep? Gnu, you're the strongest on the team, right? He's one of the bounty hunters. Where's your strength? 37 minus 5, you're fine. You picked him up, it's good. These guys are going to keep on getting up. I'm not super worried about it. We're all messed up. We are going to grab the team and just move just out of range of this. We walked right through a fucking camp. Don't be modelly coddling me, chumbo. I'm stronger than you'll ever know. Alright, I'm so glad you're on the team. <laughs> it's nice to have the uh, the interjections every once in a while. I hope the rest of them do actually all have unique dialogue. I was fighting ninjas while you were still suckling in your mother's womb. <laughs> Alright, you guys do all your healing here. It's probably a safer place to do it. I, I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> Who said that? Baki. <laughs> Alright, is Beep unconscious? No, he's normal. Canoe, you can put Beep down. These guys again are going to need some sleep. But, I think we're alright. Let's take a look at them. No legs hurt. Beep's head got destroyed. <laughs> Crumble John did fine. Infinite Wing Wang did okay. You guys all did good. Not bad. How did the actual core scout team do? Fine. Everybody's good. Good, good, good. All good. Archers didn't even take a hit. Beautiful. Beautiful. I kind of want to let the new guys sleep, but I kind of also want to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Let's try for this. Oh shit, we're in a, we're in combat again. Where are we? Nah, that's fine. Yeah, these guys are gonna keep getting up and coming at us. So somebody up there just ate a dust witch, unless that was back at our base. All right. Let's try for this crossroads. See if we can do it. Good job, team. Even with the new recruits, I'm sure they are all happy with that outcome. The new recruits stood up for themselves very nicely. Beep took a real hard whack to the head, but we'll see if we can get him in some uh, some some type of head protection, <laughs> something. I mean, Sakar is a little better off than Beep. We could just trade your for now. Sakar, why don't you give that to Beep? And Beep, why don't you put that on? You won't wear it? Oh, hey, God. Beep won't wear a helmet? All right, whatever, man. <laughs> All right, Sakara, it's yours to keep. Oh, that's a bummer. <laughs> Beep won't wear anything on his head. Okay, that's fair enough. We've got other Hivers. We've got Thinly. He's got rags on his head. We should, we should end this playthrough before it all comes to an end. We should take down Rebirth, take down the leader of the Holy Nation, and then just fucking set up here as a fuck you. What am I looking at? Is that the hub? That's the hub. Awesome. All right, not too much further to go then. Oh, don't be acid rain. No, it's just regular red rain. All right, good. I was like, oh, that's it. We're done. We're losing these guys. <laughs> Oh, uh, that was fantastic. We took on a surprise uh, training camp from the Holy Nation with a bunch of people in it. I'm really happy. Oh, I didn't loot the bodies. Shit. Oh, I kind of want to go back. <laughs> I might just do that. It's 
free gear. I want uh, crossbows for these guys. I want crossbows for the new guys. We'll keep them out of... Um, keep them out of combat. And our team can take the hits from junk crossbows. So we're 100% going back, so I don't have to buy those. <laughs> Find those, uh... Those bastards. I completely forgot I wanted to do that. What an idiot. <laughs> Home of the Sacred Flame. Word has it the flame has been burning for 5,000 years, says Infinite Wing Wang. I mean, that's got to be a work of God, right? We're going to grab crossbows, like I said, because these guys can take the hits. The scout team can take the hits, for sure. Hopefully they didn't, uh, despawn. That's going to be a bummer. Looks like they might have. All the bodies despawned except for a severed human right leg. <laughs> Whatever. All right, well, the plan still remains the same. I'm just going to have to pay for this shit now. Back to the crossroads. Unfortunately, all the bodies despawned. Well, yeah, I mean, either way, we're heading into the hub. We'll find bandits, I'm sure, that are carrying crossbows. And the plan will be, I think, uh, to keep all of these new guys out of the direct line of combat. Um, wow, what a weird... What a weird pattern. Squares. Weird pattern for foliage. Um, yeah, the plan will be to keep these guys out of direct line of uh, combat. We'll give them crossbows because this uh, scout team can take the hits for sure. Like, I don't give a shit. Those guys can get good at crossbows by whacking us in the back of the head with bolts by from junk crossbows. I don't care. And it'll let them level up a skill. Uh, it'll toughen up our team even further. And uh, it'll keep them out of the direct line of fire and give them ultimately a good skill that I want anyway. I think I've mentioned before it would be fun too if I did this again I would just do a team of crossbow users. Just a whole team of archers. It would be tough in the beginning like they'd be using their sidearms a lot but ultimately just that idea of like just a line firing squad set them in the caravan follow and then turn them sideways against people rushing you and then just fucking gun people down as they approach. Seems like it would be a lot of fun. So we'll run that whole back line from Takayasu to Surf as, um, as, uh, archers. And once again, we return to the hub. Alright, right to the ninjas. A soda, that's what I'm looking for. I have something to trade. I want stuff from you. Oh, yes, indeed. You have stuff. Let's get people outfitted. Uh, Beep, will you wear a gas mask? No, he just won't. Oh, he will! ha 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 ha! All right, people wear a gas mask. Done, beep. Beep, you get a gas mask. I love it. Where are you? <laughs> I fucking love that. All right, that's good. That'll for now. Until we get something better, that's what you got for now. I can't get beep to sleep, and I would very much like him to do that. They're, they're here. Who's here? What were you talking about? Who's here? Us? It's so hideous. What is? We have skeletons? Beep? Is it the skeleton? I don't know. We've, we've, he lived here. He's from here. This is our home. I own that house. Alright, whatever. Screw you guys. At minimum, I want Beep to get some sleep because he is fucking beat in the head. The rest of the team is kind of okay. <laughs> Everybody did a really good job. And uh, I think we might take them out and about to see if we can uh, tangle with some uh, bandits. Will you, will you, will you beep? Go to sleep, you will. Awesome. All right, good. Anybody else desperately need to sleep? No, you guys are all just fine. Oh, right. <laughs> beep says beep. I love it. Beep, I love your little, <laughs> I love your little Muppet face right now. Uh, okay, everybody slept and is feeling much better. Sakar, why don't you get up too? Oh, you're still a little uh, messed up, huh? We'll let you sleep for a second longer. We'll get him up to like 72, and then we'll take off. And I think the tax collector's moving towards Desert Gamble. Excellent. I think what we're gonna do is uh, we will take these guys out to get into some, uh, some scuffles around here, I think. Uh, we'll head out towards the Dust King Tower, because there's probably gonna be a bunch of bandits in there. Oh my god, Sasabi, did you get stuck? God damn it. Alright, everybody... Ah, oh shit. Sasabi got herself stuck next to an outhouse in the hub, so we're gonna go pick her up first, literally. 
and then we're gonna head out towards that Dust King Tower. We've defeated the Dust King, turned him in. Um, but there were like, like loose rabble Dust King people out there, so. We could go by way of Ishijuku. Maybe we'll do that. Uh, because we can still get out through the valley there. We'll do that, and who knows what we're gonna run into along the way. Alright, out we go. Out we go. We'll go to Ishijuku. I'd really like to get these guys some pants. And, uh, if we run into anybody along the way, so be it. It will be their demise. I managed to pick up some, uh, shoddy crossbows. Shoddy toothpick crossbows. For, uh, three of the guys. So they will be on ranged. That'll be their... Their preferred method of fighting. Oh, here we got some people. Who are these people? Black Dragon Ninjas, just a few of them. Stats are not that high, we'll walk through the center of them, I suppose. We'll see what happens. We'll see what we do. I'm more interested in getting pants than I am fighting these guys, but... We'll walk past them, if they want to fight, we'll fight. Their camp is here. They're often hostile, I don't know if they'll still be hostile. Black Dragon Ninjas is zero, but they have often been hostile just as we walk around or past them. Looks like we're gonna turn off and go down here to get to Ishijuku. We might come back up and say hello to them. At least I'll purposefully walk past them. Oh no! Ishijuku has been destroyed. What happened? I wonder if this is from destroying the Dust King Tower? I don't know. What did we do that changed the world state in here? I don't know. Alright. Well, if there's one way to get, uh, clothing, it's, uh, by taking it. So let's, uh, let's go walk past these guys and see what they have to say. Man, that's a bummer. I don't know what did that. That's interesting. We obviously, some world state change happened. I don't know what it was. That was an Adventurer's Guild spot, I think, right? Can I see it by hovering? Faction, Adventurer's Guild. Interesting. Alright, Azagami, back up past these ninjas and see what they do. If they don't attack, so be it. We'll leave them alone. But if they do attack us, and they have so many times. When we used to live here, they'd attack us all the time. They could just be picking on the weak. They also could just be hostile on sight. So if they are... Alright, it does not look like they're gonna be hostile. Can I talk to any of you? Man, all of a sudden now you don't want to attack us? Uh, let's have some fun. There we go. There you go, guys. I knew you could do it. <laughs> and, uh, tackle. Beautiful. Black Dragon Ninjas are now hostile towards us. Hey, you started this, jerks. Wow, instantaneous 100%. Damn, instantaneous. Okay, whatever. Well, maybe it looks like we'll be wiping out some fucking Black Dragon Ninjas, you bastards. You started this. I mean, I did walk by just to get you to start it, but you started it. <laughs> now, this will be faction closed, but whatever. It still offers protection, so... Ugh, my bones hurt. <laughs> Alright. Who doesn't have at least Drifter's Leather Pants? Let's start making that happen. Reach 45 and you feel pains you would never thought have existed. <laughs> Interesting. Wait, 45? You look over 100. <laughs> Who said that? Hunter. Nice. I dig it. Is he going to respond to that before I go? Guess that's what I get for not wearing my straw hat in the desert. <laughs> Alright, I dig him. Yeah, he's no matter what, he's staying on the team. I dig it. God damn it, Beep, you got hit in the head again. How'd you- how'd you manage that? How did you manage to get hit in the head again? <laughs> can we use their- oh, we can. Why don't we use their, uh, their bed? Who got hurt? A couple people? We'll use their beds. Oh, I was letting everybody heal and I didn't realize we're getting attacked by bandits. Which is, uh, not a problem. Oh, shit, though. Wait. Oh, no, Gnu- I thought Gnu fell. We put him to sleep. <laughs> All right, Gnu, you're fine. Hunter, you're fine. Beep, you stay asleep for a second. And, uh, we can take care of these guys. That's, uh, that's just fine. 
Oh, looks like we're gonna get another crossbow out of the deal. Good. Oh, two crossbows. I like it. Oh, gentlemen, you done made a goof. I see archers getting hit in the back of the head with bows. <laughs> Alright, who doesn't have a bow? Crumble John. Why don't you go see if you can get yourself a bow? I know you like- this is probably what's keeping you alive, that giant thing, but whatever. I'm interested in keeping you alive in a different way. Is this a faction and this is not a faction? Here, we'll- we'll put you in full rag armor for now. Alright, how are we looking, Sakar? Beep, you're 100%, you can get up. Shrike, you're fine. Sakar, let's get a good look at you walking around. Oh, you're good to go. If you lose a leg, Sakar, we've got a leg on us, hopefully it's the right one. <laughs> If not, you know, hey, whatever. We'll get you one, I promise. Uh, we'll head out to about there. We'll go to this tower and see what it's like. So Black Dragon uh, ninjas went from zero to negative 100, just from attacking us and us attacking back. So fuck those guys. We will, you know what? Oh, there we go. And it's, it's hostile towards us. Huh. There's 20 people there. There's 19 of us. Hmm, I don't know. Let's go take a look. Let's go to the Dust King Tower. What we might do... Let's go to the Dust King Tower. We've defeated the Dust King, but if I recall correctly, the last time we went there, it was still filled with bandits. It's like to the tippy top. We're gonna get out towards the Dust King Tower, like I said. And, uh, we might just... Uh, raid the ninjas. There's 20 residents there, there's 19 of us. We are... We have much better stats than they do. Double in most categories. They were in like the 20s. We're in the 40s and 30s. Azagami's in the 40s and 30s. 40s, 30s, 40s, 40s. Yeah. 63 attack plus 4. Yeah, if it wasn't for these guys, they're kind of dead weight. <laughs> if it wasn't, well, they're getting better already. Their, their stats are going up. These negatives are hilarious. It's equipment bonuses. It's fine. Um... Yeah, we'd really be ready to start, like, laying the smack down in some places. I was very interested in starting to do some dumb shit. Um, eventually it might be nice. I mean, who knows? Maybe this makes it take a bit longer. We get these guys all leveled up. Uh, get them close to caught up with us. But, it, like I said, it would be nice to go back to Rebirth. And just kill everybody there. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna go take a look at the Dust King Tower. Like I said, last time it had, uh, bandits in it. Uh, we'll fight some bandits, see how we do, if there are some bandits in it. And, uh, we might, for the next episode, let these guys all heal up for real. And go have a conversation with the damn ninjas. Who went from zero to hostile. After saying, let's have some fun. Bastards. Also, it's gonna be interesting when we get home, because Azagami is wanted for zero dollars in the United Cities. I'm not sure what that's about. I don't know. Everybody, oh, it expired. Everybody had a uh, Holy Nation bounty for 500 bucks for that little tussle we just got into. But... Alright, let's see. Nope, it's in ruins, and no one is here. Very interesting. Oh, there's a couple people in here. Holy Nation Outlaws. Oh, let's have a conversation with Holy Nation Outlaws. Can we send you to the place I want to send you to? Holy Nation Outlaws squatting in the ruined Dust King Tower. This is so interesting. The Dust King Tower was not ruined last time we came here. Hmm. I like it. All right, well, that's where we're gonna leave it. We came out to the rebel base, but it is destroyed, which is good to see because we did defeat the Dust King, so I'm glad to see that it's finally destroyed. Uh, there are some Holy Nation Outlaws in there, but I can't talk to them, and I also couldn't talk to people uh, in the destroyed Adventurer's Guild, which if I recall correctly, that Ishijuku Adventurer's Guild hub was from a mod. Um, so I probably am going to need to import my save, but that's going to take some time because I want to make sure I don't mess anything up. We've been playing this for quite a while, and I don't want to mess up any relationships, and there's a handful of things I just got to make sure I do correctly when I import the save. So, I will have imported the save by the time we get back, I'm sure, and when we get back, I think we're going to take this team over to have a little conversation with the uh, ninjas at the Ninja Tower, not too far from here, and uh, just see what it is, uh, why exactly it is they feel like attacking us maybe set them straight. But we will do that in the next episode, so subscribe for more Kenshi, and I'll see you next time.